Hello and welcome. I'm here with Jack from Alma Linux and we're going to talk about a very cool project today. How are you doing, Jack? Hey, Jay. How are you doing? I'm great. Doing awesome. Doing awesome. So we're going to talk about something very topical. Can you tell us a little bit about the Elevate project and why Alma Linux started the project in the first place? Yeah. So the Elevate project is uh, a community-wide project that we started here at Alma Linux. Um, and it's a really cool project. It lets you migrate between major versions of RHEL-based distributions. That's what the uh, EL capitalized and Elevate stands for. Um, and it's a really cool project. It lets you go from uh, really anything, CentOS 6, CentOS 7, to a newer version. Um, it's really kind of relevant now that CentOS 7 is end of life and lots of people are running uh, <laughs> versions they probably shouldn't be running. Um, and this lets you uh, upgrade from one to the next. That's awesome. It's great to have all of that context. Can you tell us a little bit more about what types of migrations are made possible by Elevate? Yeah, absolutely. So you can move between really any major version RHEL derivatives. So CentOS 6, CentOS, uh, from like CentOS 6 to CentOS 7, from CentOS 7 to like an 8x version of uh, Alma Linux or one of the other derivatives. Um, and um, yeah, it basically lets you like jump from one to the other. The, the really cool thing about it is that this is distribution agnostic as well. So it's community wide. So we don't force you to move to Alma Linux. You could decide you want to go to something else and that's supported as well. How would somebody contribute to Elevate? Yeah, so the best thing to do is join us on Mattermost in the migration channel. Um, when you join chat.almalinux.org, there are a bunch of channels in there. Hop into the migration channel. And of course, all the code for everything is on GitHub. So if you're interested in uh, helping out, which lots of people have done, contributing, you know, different fixes for different things or, you know, doing stuff with the scripts, whatever it is, um, everything's right there in GitHub. Just clone the repo and make a pull request. So I've heard that Elevate has had a recent addition and upgrade recently. Could you tell us a little bit about what that new version consists of? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, one of the requests that we've gotten a lot is to be able to move between different versions of CentOS Stream. Uh, CentOS Stream operates a little bit differently than uh, the regular distribution. So we've added support for going from CentOS Stream 8 to CentOS Stream 9. And also another very highly uh, requested thing, um, and this is for our friends in the scientific community with support for scientific Linux. And so we've added support for scientific Linux as well now to enable those users uh, to migrate as well. That's really exciting news. And thank you so much for all of this information about Elevate. It was such an honor to talk to you about this, and I appreciate your time. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much, Jay. And uh, it's it's more of us trying to give the community what the community <laughs> wants and needs. So I'm glad that, you know, we were able to put this project together and uh, it's it's had tremendous uptake. And really, everybody that's that's used it has been so happy with the results. And that's what we're really glad about.